Dignitaries from across religious, social, and political communities converged on Oton Ayegbaju in Oshun State for the commissioning of these school facilities. They agree that providing quality education goes beyond mere provision of structures, and the question of who manages the school comes up for discussion. Today is a story that we must tell. The state governor, Raul Faregweshola, admits that the standard of education is dwindling in spite of huge investments in the sector. No, we are not getting the, the desired return on performance of our pupils. When you, when you read out the grade your children made, at the end of the day, people tell us that it's because we don't motivate our teachers, that our children are not doing well. I doubt. And the primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, Nicholas Oko, agrees with him. Actually, that is the present concern. Because the confusion you see outside is not uh, from the moon, it's from Nigerians. So if we can train you and you are 100% in mathematics and you are 100% in morals, then life will be better for everyone outside. In what seems a way out of the problem, the former national chairman of the ruling All Progressives Congress, Chief Bisi Akande, and the Bishop of Oshun North Anglican Diocese, Dr. Humphrey Ulumakaye, solicits for the return of schools to their original owners. My plea is for the missionaries to run schools side by side with other educational stakeholders in order to enable our society to have a choice in producing future players in the employment market. Your Excellency want to assure you that if the schools are handed over to the original owners, there will be a greater academic quality and moral standard in our state. Dignitaries here also agree that it's important that notable personalities in the country contribute their bit to the development of education in Nigeria and not leave the task to government and missionaries alone.